late today what the FBI revealed there, saying the shooter might have been motivated by violent ideologies. Of course, those images, people running in panic from the gunman's bullets, the gunman followed. The chaos and terror inside that bar. And tonight, right here, the new clues revealed about the gunman. As we hear from a former girlfriend who said herself there were red flags, what he was fascinated with. ABC's Eva Pilgrim leads us off from Dayton tonight. Tonight, stories of heroism from inside the Dayton bar where the gunman's rampage ended. Dylan Arnold started recording when he heard the gunfire. He says the bouncer saved his life. You can see him here alerting staff as the shooter rushes towards the bar. If he wasn't there, and especially if the officers weren't there, I mean, I know I'd be gone. One of the first gone. As authorities search for a motive, the FBI now investigating evidence they say shows Connor Betts was exploring violent ideologies. The individual had a history of obsession with violent ideations to include mass shootings and had expressed a desire to commit a mass shooting. Just this past May, Adelia Johnson, who says she was dating Betts, broke it off after what she calls several red flags. He talked about like mass shootings and world tragedies like I talk about television shows. ABC News has also learned of a now deleted Twitter account believed to be linked to Betts, describing himself as an anime fan, a metalhead, and a leftist. In less than 30 seconds, dozens were hurt, nine people killed. 25-year-old Nick Hummer had spent the summer working with cancer patients. He'd just been offered his dream job. He's going to leave a big hole in our organization for sure. Um, I think he's left a hole in our hearts. Ohio's governor, who was drowned out by a crowd in the wake of the shooting, now says he's calling for legislation requiring background checks for nearly all gun sales and other reforms. We must do something. And that is exactly what we are going to do. And Eva Pilgrim joins us live tonight from Dayton, Ohio. And Eva, the FBI revealing today that they have evidence now that the gunman was interested in violent ideologies and they're asking now for the public's help. That's right, David. The FBI is investigating if this shooter had any help. They're also wanting to talk to anyone who might have known that he was interested in mass shootings. Now, if you have video of this shooting, the FBI would like for you to submit that on their website. David. It does seem like there were so many red flags here. Eva Pilgrim leading us off. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.